we're at this point where I think the social contract that we've struck between drug developers and patients has to start coming true at a different scale, right? We've talked about how we can deliver meaningful treatments, some even use the word cures, and do it repeatedly and do it durably. But where we sit today, and we've seen this in the context of recent Alzheimer's drugs, we've seen this in the context of a whole range of different therapeutics, is we're at this point where we need to be able to deeply understand disease, make the drugs that are relevant for disease at the right time to intervene and deliver meaningful and durable change for patients. And that's the core of what we all signed up for, right? And when we think about it, right, again, 1,500 odd drugs for 13,000 diseases. We've barely started. And I think it's really important to remember that. So ultimately, what do we need to be able to do this? We need to change the cost, we need to change the time, we need to increase the probability of success of developing each and every drug. This is something where there's a fundamental and foundational opportunity that if we have, an op if we have a new model, a new model that has different features associated with it, there may be an opportunity to one, create new insights, deliver new drugs, but two, as we think about pushing the limits and pushing the limits and pushing the limits, there's a lot of great ideas out there. And many of these ideas for idiosyncratic reasons, for historical reasons, for ecosystem reasons, have been trapped. They've never seen the life of, the day, of day. And I see an opportunity where we can actually democratize drug discovery and development. And I think that becomes a huge unlock for us to think about the future and the future that we all want. Because... We're so early in the journey here that if we can unlock creativity and unlock it in mass, in mass, then the power of transformation, I think, is tremendous. And we can get to a scale and scope of biotechnology that feels like a dream today.